Well, the homeless crisis continues to grow, but could relief soon be on the way for San Diego? Councilman Stephen Whitburn, the author of the Safe Sleeping Initiative, is joining us now to discuss this via Zoom. Councilman Whitburn, thank you for joining us, and I understand you have a, a, a big announcement about your plan. Well, Rafer, it is really good to see you as always. And yes, I'm very pleased that uh, things are moving forward. Uh, we're looking forward to this ordinance uh, coming forward in the coming month. Uh, this is the ordinance that would prohibit encampments on public property uh, throughout the city of San Diego, all public property. Uh, and specifically, it would prohibit uh, encampments around schools uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, regardless of shelter availability. Uh, the same true of homeless shelters and riverbeds and parks uh, and other areas. Uh, and in other parts of the city, uh, it would prohibit encampments uh, uh, when there is shelter available. Uh, so we are really encouraging uh, the public uh, to make their voices heard in the coming month as uh, we await a uh, official docket date for this ordinance uh, so that we could be sure to get this across the finish line and get this implemented so that the people who are currently unsheltered living in squalor on our sidewalks uh, can get into a better place uh, where it's safer and healthier for them and certainly better for our neighborhoods as well. So the biggest challenge will be finding those areas where you can build these temporary shelters. Can you describe any of the progress you might have made in, in finding specific locations, uh, you know, where these folks can go? Well, I am very happy about the fact that uh, the city has announced uh, that we will be beginning safe sleeping. Uh, that will be starting uh, within uh, a month or so. And we have identified two sites for safe sleeping, one of them being at the city maintenance yard uh, at 20th and B Streets, the other being at the O lot, which is just south of the Naval Medical Center in Balboa Park. And between the two, those safe sleeping sites will accommodate more than 500 people. That is 500 people who are currently living on the sidewalks, in our parks, in our canyons, in our riverbed, who will be leaving those locations and going into a place that has restrooms, has security, uh, has meals, and has connections to services. Uh, again, much safer, much healthier for them, uh, and also much better for our neighborhoods. So where does it stand now? I know you have the support of, of the mayor. Uh, so what now needs to happen for it to get past that hurdle and be full steam ahead? So the safe sleeping sites uh, themselves are going to happen. We'll be opening uh, the first safe sleeping site uh, expected in June, and that will be at 20th and B. And then in September or October, we'll open the second safe sleeping site at the O lot uh, near the Naval Medical Center. The ordinance is going to be coming before the uh, full city council, we expect, in the middle of June. Uh, we know that the public is with us. Uh, we've heard loud and clear uh, from San Diegans that they want this ordinance approved uh, so that we can get people into a better place and free our sidewalks of encampments. Uh, we need to make sure that we have at least five votes on city council for this ordinance. So we're encouraging everybody to uh, make their voices heard, uh, make sure that we can get it across the finish line and make sure that we have the kind of city that we all want to deserve. Councilman Whippert, I don't know if this is a, qu uh, a question you can answer or not, but Dan Plant did a story yesterday about a lot of residents that feel frustrated that they can't rely on police uh, because the police are already dealing with, you know, heavy crime and that sort of thing, and they don't know where they can turn if they have an issue in the city with a homeless person behaving erratically. You know, who could they call? Do you have any, have any advice for those, those frustrated constituents? Well, I would have two pieces of advice. The first is certainly first uh, to call 911 if there's erratic behavior and uh, you are concerned or fearful about that. But I would also say that is yet another reason to support this ordinance. Uh, one of the driving forces behind this ordinance is because the current rules that we have in place, uh, en encroachment uh, laws, illegal lodging laws, just aren't as effective as they need to be to address uh, the homelessness crisis. 
so, Rafer, that is one of the reasons why we're bringing forward a straightforward ordinance that goes right to the heart of the matter and says there can't be encampments on public property because with a straightforward ordinance, we can have straightforward enforcement. Uh, and I think that the people are currently concerned about the erratic behavior and encampments on our streets. Uh, we'll see that begin to change. A straightforward answer uh, to my question. Councilman Whitburn, thanks as always for joining us. Rafer, as always, thank you.